Hello everyone, CryoDog here, uh, bringing you another video with my iPad 2, uh, GarageBand, the Apogee Jam, and my PRS guitar. Uh, so what I've done is I've uh, created a drum loop in GarageBand to play or jam with uh, with my guitar. And um, so I'm showing the steps uh, needed to create the drum loop uh, on the iPad and uh, then I'm uh, showing some video of me actually playing my guitar along with the drum loop. Um, so if you like this video please uh, comment, subscribe, like, rate, share, any or all of the above <laughs> and thanks for watching. Okay so we're going to create a drum loop uh, to jam with. So what we're going to we need to do is go into my into GarageBand Start a new song. Let's go over to the smart drum. Select that. And the first thing I like to do is change a couple settings right into the to the project or to the song. So we're going to tap the plus symbol in the upper right corner. Make sure it's set to eight bars. So it is. Tap off of that and then go into the wrench setting of the settings menu and turn off the metronome and then the count in as well. I always like to do that. Uh, and for everything else, we'll leave it like it is for now. And then now we want to select a drum pattern that we like. I usually use the dice, it comes up with some quick options. Uh, you can select those pretty quick. And if you want to change the actual type of drum that you're using, um, we'll go to the live kit. So that one sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and record this. So what it's going to do is it's going to record the drum loop over and over for eight bars, and then it'll stop recording. So let's start that now. So it's recording. So we'll just let it play through that. So it should have recorded that. So let's stop it. Go into the multi track view. As you can see, it did record it. So now that we've got our drum track, we want a long press or press once and then tap again. And then choose loop from the menu. So now what it's going to do is it's going to loop through that drum track. So now we'll go in and add a new instrument. And this time we're going to select the amplifier. Then I've already got a preset sound that I want to use, so I'm going to go to custom. So now we're going to connect the Apogee Jam in to the end of the iPad. Okay, so now we have Apogee Jam connected to the iPad. So let's zoom in just a little bit. And we're going to bring up the plugin and turn on the monitoring. Then we can set the noise gate, but for right now we'll just leave the noise gate like it is. Actually, let's move it up a little bit because I know this custom is going to uh, be a little sensitive. So now we have our Apogee Jam connected to the iPad with the, back, the drum loop ready to go, and we have our guitar connected to the Apogee Jam as well. So now we can play the drum loop 
And if that's too slow, we can go in to the settings and change the tempo. We can do a tap tempo, or we can modify, or we can modify the beats per minute ourselves. Okay, so as you can hear, I have the drum beat going. I have my guitar plugged in to, to the Apogee Jam, and I'm ready to play.